Wow, what in the world? Something right here grabbed onto me. Doesn't really feel like a red, but it's, geez. Gigantic flock of birds up here. Brandon is working them. These birds are definitely working something on top of the water, some bait being pushed up. And we saw these birds start way out here and they're just following whatever's happening. Could be a bunch of skipjack, could be hardheads, whatever, but there's something going on. We had some rain that was on the radar this morning. Decided not to chance it and get out here at 6.15, which was the plan and uh, got out here maybe at nine o'clock, 9.15. Had a couple of storms split off, come around us on this bay. Everything looks good except for that, but that's not coming towards us. That's going away from us. Oh, don't tell me they're hard heads. Oh my gosh, gap tops. That's what I was afraid of. Well, if they're not biting right away, that's probably what they all are, but it's worth throwing in there to see if something else looks like you got something. Yeah, gap top. That makes a little more sense. But look at all the birds. I'm sure you can see them. I'll zoom in. I don't know, Joseph's got something. <clears throat> Ooh, look at that lightning. Oh, hell's bells. I wonder if that's all that's in there. Two? Yeah, that's where my first cat right there is.
That's probably what they all are then. You birds need to spell something in the air. Gaff top, reds, trout, right. something. something. Let's go. Let's go where we, where we meant to be. Thank you, Jesus, for a gorgeous, gorgeous morning. Mm. All right, folks, I'm going to turn off the camera. We'll see you all in a little bit when we get out to our destination. Look at that bad boy. I don't know if you can see the translucency on the belly, but then uh, it's got some color shift to it. I've got two of those rigged up. Small profile, big profile. I think it's going to be a killer color, even for freshwater. It kind of looks like a perch. Let's go. Vamanos. Man, just a gorgeous, gorgeous morning. Look at this beautiful scenery. Beautiful setting today. Thunderstorms just passed through. Of course, I don't think they hit this area. <laughs> just passed some buddies. Well, a buddy and his client, they were out here doing a kayak charter. They caught a couple of big reds and some flounder. Said to look for the birds because they're not so much up along the shoreline. They're out in the middle. Schooled up, but, you know, they're going to do what they want to do. Work out to this big lake. First got out here, the wind looked very daunting. But we were on the opposite side, the north side of this lake area. And... Uh, come over here and it's just shy of glass so nice pretty shallow here I'm hitting with my Mirage Drive so maybe a foot probably would be able to see the fishies just gonna move along mega flock of seagulls hovering on the water right over here calling in reinforcements my fishing buddies I was just gonna say I, did, I hadn't seen any birds whether they're feeding or not there's only been a few birds on the shoreline here but man there is all i can see is just splashes of water they're dive bombing over here i think that's where they're all at today i finally spotted some tails over here close to 50 yards away from me Ooh, baby. Looks like some big ones, too. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. All right. There. That gum, they're moving fast. There's a little pot of them here and one up ahead. I'll try to get the ones in the back so those will stay. if I can but I don't see them now there they are wow he just saw me how big are you buddy Mercy. Pretty big. Good fish.
They're still over here, man. I'm watching them if you want to come this way. I said, I still have eyes on the school if you want to come this way. Dad gum, how big is this fish? Him. Yeah, that school's still messing around over here. Yeah, Holly. I still haven't gotten a good look at him. Oh, come on, come on, baby. Dang. It's a pretty good fish, man. Big old bruiser. Big, big boy. Oh man, so pretty. I think he's ready. Golly! Oh man. Gosh. Goodness gracious. Bubba, look at you. <clears throat> Big old dude. Still good. Hmm. If that wasn't a redfish, I don't know what it is. Or it could have been a flounder. That's the whole reason I came into this little creek.
Oh my gosh, I finally got one. On purpose, boys, on purpose. <laughs> oh man. Very nice, very nice. On the action worm. A little flounder, but it's a flounder. I kind of figured that's what that was. Um, just put on this lure. Okay, you boys got lots of teeth on you. Six inch action worm. He's fifteen inches, but I'm gonna let him go. Let him go. Get a little bit bigger, buddy. This has got to be the smallest trout I've ever caught. I thought I was just dragging some stuff on the bottom. Look at that guy. You bit on a pretty long bait, bud. You see how they eat? They folded that thing up. Wow, what in the world? <laughs> Something right here grabbed onto me. Doesn't really feel like a red, but it's gotta be. Oh yeah, it is. Jeez, good red. Man, good fish. Wow, <laughs> that's a big fish. I mean, he just grabbed it and I thought I was, uh, I don't know, had something small on it. He really didn't run with it right away. Got him up to the boat and That's pretty close to the size I caught this morning. There's some oysters, oyster beds, reefs, whatever you wanna call it right in here. Under the boat, come on, man. Upper slot red. Yeah. Oh, my goodness! Very unexpected. I mean, you're always expecting to catch a fish when you're fishing. Wow, man, look at this guy. Kill. Look at this thing.
thing. How big are you, buddy? Big. Oh my goodness. Another 29 and a half on the money. <clears throat> My goodness. Let's go, pal. Let's go, Brandon. Mm, strong kickoff. That's what we got. Twelve shrimp, twelve trout. Didn't take any photos. Said the speed shrimps all beat up. Oh. That was a good one, dude. Come on back. Oh my gosh. I just turned my camera off and looked like I'm out of the water. Oh, golly. Look at that dude. He's not bad. Caught him on this here. This lure's caught everything today. The color anyways. The other one was a smaller profile. Twenty one inches, nice trout. Nice trout. Okay, I believe you now. All right, we're done. Sorry, my battery was, I guess, well, camera's overheating. This is the first time I've fished in this type of heat, I guess. It's not real hot, but I think we all know these GoPros are temperamental with the heat. Hope y'all enjoyed it. This was a just a day to test out this lure that lure right there caught the big reds and all those trout y'all want some let me know thanks for watching see y'all next time oh.